Sources close to Cowboys defensive lineman Greg Hardy say that Hardy will challenge a ruling that imposes anything more than a two-game suspension against Hardy for violation of the personal conduct policy. Under the version of the policy that was in place at the time, Hardy allegedly engaged in domestic violence. The standard penalty for a first offense of that nature was a two-game suspension without pay. Hardy and the NFL Players Association contend that the NFL applied new rules retroactively to Hardy and that the Hardy suspension should be only two games based on the rules in place of when the conduct occurred here. So, Kate, how should the league handle this? You know, I feel like I'm like Skip or Stephen A. right now taking a deep breath before mm -hmm. they like launch into a 10-minute <laughs> soliloquy. But, um, you know, I think we've heard a lot uh, on media and sports media where someone will start a statement by saying, now, I don't condone that behavior. And then the rest of the argument often has nothing to do with condemning the behavior, in fact. So I think when you use that tagline at the start, then a lot of times the rest of your argument should follow suit. And I think my problem here with Greg Hardy stating that he doesn't want any more than two games to me reflects that maybe there hasn't been enough reflection by him on his behavior. I think if you look at Ray Rice, I actually, we ran a piece on ESPNW that Jane McManus wrote about how like Ray Rice deserves another shot in the NFL because he went through counseling. He admitted his mistake. He said what I did was wrong. So my argument is not, I don't think Craig Hardy deserves a second chance or he shouldn't play in the NFL again. I just think when all of his communication has been to this point, here's what I'm not going to accept. Here, I don't want to miss more than this. He has yet to miss a dollar of NFL pay to this point since he was paid for all of the previous year. So my issue is all he's communicated to us is that he doesn't accept responsibility. I mean, he agreed to a settlement with the alleged victim and that's how the charge was dismissed and we all know that so at what point has he taken responsibility mm -hmm. that's my issue can I name you a, na a number of games that feels right sure I could give you six eight that feels right I don't know what would feel right is if he accepted responsibility so what should the league do I think the league did what I wanted it to do, which was issue a very severe penalty. Now, you all discussed previously about the fireworks and, and Goodell's punishment with the Flakegate. Maybe does he go over because he knows it's going to come back? Maybe that is the case. Maybe we'll see Greg Hardy with six or eight games, and that will, I don't, but I don't know what feels right. What would feel right to me is if Greg Hardy took responsibility in some way that was public and made sense. So there's a theme for you and my disagreement throughout the day, and that is feel versus what is written down. I don't know what feels right either. You point out that condoning or condemning behavior should be separate or should follow with whatever punishment. What I would tell you is they should be separate. There's a reason we have a guilt phase and a sentencing phase in criminal trials. We can look and we should look at what Greg, Greg Hardy allegedly did and say that is horrendous. That is terrible behavior, and we must condemn it in the strongest terms. However, when you move to sentencing, you have to follow the letter of your law. And the letter of the law, when Greg Hardy violated his, his contract and violated the NFL's policy, was two games. You can't go back after the fact and say, I feel like giving you ten games. Because once you're in that realm, it could be, like, to your point, Kate, it could be six, it could be eight. Why ten? What's 10 have to do with anything except our collective feeling to our argument earlier? Roger Goodell cannot follow collective feeling. You have to follow the law, the contracts, the CBA that you signed your name to, and that dictates two games. Well, go ahead, Kate. Go ahead. What, what happens when there's a complete breach in how we institute our punishment? Because when you look at this issue, he was not punished legally, and there are a lot of issues with how domestic violence is punished. So then he has not yet been punished. And if you look at the NFL, as Herm noted earlier, there's another complete gap in how it was punishing domestic violence. So are we to accept that Greg Hardy just falls through a loophole and his behavior in the end receives almost a nominal punishment because of all of the flaws in both our legal system and the NFL's legal system? And also, they instituted the new policy, which the Players Union agreed upon in August. He supposedly agreed to this settlement with this woman months later. There there is some overlap there with how he engaged improperly, possibly, in this situation. Just a short answer to your point. You know what you do? Is you fix the law. You fix the CBA. You fix the rules. And they have. It will no longer be two games. But you can't change the timeline.
Both of you make good points, uh, especially when you sit here and, and you look at how he's conducted himself compared to Ray Rice. He, he has recept, uh, you know, no responsibility. There's no remorse. But here again, he sits in a situation where he understands and his lawyers understand these were the rules before. Now, he did not play football. He got paid. You're exactly right. He got paid. In my humble opinion, if you decide to let this guy back in the league, which they decide they're going to do, they're looking at should we take more games away from him? For me, the first thing you got to do is you got to find him. You should find him. I mean, you should take some money away from him, whether it's four weeks, ten weeks, eight weeks of pay. Take that away from the guy. And then, then you got to decide do we continue to say, okay, now it's six games, two games, four games. You know, when you take the player off the field, in my opinion, that affects him the most yeah. when they can't play. He, he's, he's not been able to play football a whole year. Okay, now we come back with a new CBA rule that says, you know what, the, the, the rules we had before, they were obviously obsolete. They should have been looked at a long time ago, but obviously when domestic violence became front stage for us, we all looked at it and go, that's what it looks like. Mm -hmm. This is awful, mm -hmm. and we've got to change this. Not only in football, in society. I mean, when we're talking about football, this should be changed in society as well, okay? In my humble opinion. But when you look at his situation, there was a loophole. Yeah. You're exactly right. And his, his, his team is saying, here's a loophole with the, with, you know, with the league. Uh, he's saying with he's the a union. victim of circumstances. Yeah, but no, well, he, no he, put himself, he put himself in that situation. No, but I mean the circumstances in terms uh, in that it, was, yeah, it the wasn't suspension. in place. That's so exactly so right, my right. thing is, and I could be exactly wrong right. here, but just, just take the punishment. And, and I'm not a player, so I don't know. You've already sat out a year and that kind of thing. But just take the punishment, and then maybe we'd see some remorse and go through the process like Ray Rice did. Why, why are you going to fight it now? Right. I mean, I'll, I'll add a parallel here, which is only a parallel in terms of a suspension and not fighting it is, is Brittany Griner's situation in the WNBA. There was a lot of groundswell among players in the WNBA saying, don't take that long of a suspension because it's setting a precedent. She was never going to fight that because she accepted responsibility and did not want to put herself in the position to be seen to be fighting a suspension for behavior that she truly felt bad about and wanted to receive counseling and she didn't want the optics of that to make it seem like she wasn't taking responsibility and that was the situation in the WNBA so you're right when it comes to Greg Hardy we can talk about legally loophole whatever but if you want to talk about the optics of does he take responsibility continuing to fight this shows me that there's very little responsibility being taken you know as to what his punishment should be and what his behavior should be I just simply can't indulge that. Could, I'm, in other words, you suggested, Herm, he should lose some money. Yeah. Kate, you suggested he should lose six, eight, ten games. And if the four of us sitting at this table were in charge, we probably would come to some de decent agreement. He did something horrendous. But the truth is, our four feelings can't dictate what is right and what is just. It can only be an agreement of all parties involved. And in this case, it was the players and mm -hmm. the teams with prescribed behaviors and illegal behaviors and what the punishment would be. And my only point to you is when you have an agreement like that, everyone's feelings about this sounds right, this is the message we should send, are almost beside the point. You cannot change your punishment after... I have two kids. You cannot change the punishment after the fact. So you're saying two you games. Will not get the behavior you want. If I tell my son, if you do that, you're going to time out, and he does it, I decide, I, I, I'm going to spank him for that instead. I promise you, he will feel the injustice. So you think and it he should will not be correct his games. behavior. I think it has to be two games. I don't feel it should be anything. Because I that's think what it, it says was. It has to that be two was games. the rule at the time. That was the rule at the time. So do you think it should also be two games, or now that we've instated these better rules, do we go by the new policy? You know, I look at it this way. They've taken him off the field for a whole year. Now, whether you say two games, well, then people are going to say, well, why is it two? Why shouldn't it be four? Okay, Cause then we get back into what because, la because the rules before said it was two. You know, I know this. A lot of people are upset in the fact that, yo, you took him off the field, but he still got paid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, a lot of people look at that and say, well, you paid the guy for, for an injustice, and he still got his salary. He, he missed games, but you didn't do it. So, you know, I'm looking at, well, take some money away from the guy because you've already, he's already left the field. He couldn't play football. You're saying the suspension, in effect, has already been served. Yes. But now yeah. take some money. Take away. some money from the guy. it's a full year. Yeah. And then And then they should it's a full reach year. into his pocket. I get reach into the pocketbook now. Say, yeah. we're going to get you on both it's sides. Been way more you're than you're two not going to all of a sudden just miss two games. Yes. Right. You've been paid for 16 that you didn't play. No, that now you're going to miss two and we're only going to take two games salary from you? No, no, no. Yeah. No. No. That's not right, in my opinion. But I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not the commissioner. I mean, I will add, though, that when 
it, there's a very, there's a difficult nature of trying to change the justice system mm -hmm. when you, you're saying society or the NFL. The NFL, the, it came, the pressure came from the society, but when there is the rift there between what the punishment should be and what it is in our society, and then when you say, we'll change that, and then you see who's making the laws and who's fighting to make those laws, and it's oftentimes men too there. So there's a lot of layers there to just changing it where sometimes you, you have to at least have the discussion and bring some feelings into it to move the conversation forward so that some of the lawmakers then will change some of these things. But it's not as simple as like, oh, well then change the law because there are so many more issues wrapped up in that. So sometimes having the conversation does move us maybe toward more concrete issues. Absolutely. And, That's it, and I would just say sometimes people get there. use their feelings about what the punishment to be to, as, a, as a, a placement for how much they hate domestic violence. In other words, I really don't like domestic violence, so I want his punishment to be banishment forever. Mm -hmm. That's not, that doesn't make sense. You can, you can condemn the behavior with all your sense of being and also say, but this is what the punishment supposed to be because this is what they agreed upon. You can hold both yeah. of those opinions. One thing I do want to say moving this forward, because the NFL was writing my checks about six months ago, <laughs> and, and this is absolutely egregious, but they are doing a lot, and they know that they ha they didn't handle this properly to deal with domestic violence yes. and, and try to put in the right protocols, and, and we went through a lot of training, and I do have to respect and give them kudos to that, and trying to handle it. We know things weren't handled properly before, but moving forward, and, the, and this is one of the things that happened prior to, to trying to... Well, it, we, we're aware of what it looks like, and I think we've known domestic violence has gone on in this country. Uh, not just by athletes, uh, and we, we saw a face of it and it was ugly. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad the league has stepped up, decided to look at their policy and say, you know what, these are, way, these, these are way overdue. We need to become better at this and we need to go into the forefront of this to, to, to make a, a statement, not only just to, to our society, hey, this, this cannot be tolerated by any stretch of the imagination. All right, we'll leave it there. LeBron, meanwhile, locked into Cleveland for at least one more season. So how many more will he actually play in Cleveland, though? That's the debate coming up next. Is that it for Herm? Get out of here.